Yo, it's your boy Sincere on Beats, and you are tuned in to the diary. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Calm down. It's just me, all right? It's just your boy. So listen, let's jump right on into it. What is the update that's going on with Diddy and his situation? Well, allegedly, the woman who came out a couple of days ago and was like, yo, Diddy art her along with the bodyguard. Um, held her down while Diddy R'd her, um, you know, and she had she she got pregnant from that R, and you know she had a K the baby. Follow me, cause you can't say certain things, and I don't want to get my channel struck. YouTube will do that for certain uh certain words, so just follow along and you'll pick what I'm trying to say. So the baby's no longer here, according to what this alleged victim has said. So. But it's allegedly come, come out that she's been lying. Now, mind you, I have always said there's going to be some liars and there's going to be the people who are actually victims to come out against Diddy. Um, well, her ex-boyfriend claims and alleges that she hit him up on a, a DM and was like, hey, listen, if you go along with this story, I'll give you $3 million dollars. Diddy has the money. So he said, what? Nah, I'm not cool with that, whatever. And he claims he blocked her. And he also claims he uh, deleted the message or whatever. Well, the lawyer, Diddy's lawyer claims they have evidence of that, which actually happened. So we're going to have to find out later to see if that's the truth. Because this is a messy and a weird situation. Oh, as the time go on, you're going to hear some real messy and some really, really weird things going on. So what is the update today? As of, um, was this, October the 10th? What is the update? Well, <laughs> Diddy was denied bail for the third time under a new judge. His previous judge had uh, accused itself from the case because it was a scheduling issue from my understanding um so of course naturally you want to just try to go ahead and see if you can get bell under the new judge which was the night they're saying uh he's a possible flight risk and he may intimidate the witnesses in which he did in the in the past so obviously that's going to be a, a case even though his lawyers was like listen we will have uh 24 hours monitoring monitoring we'll have um, people in law enforcement, who used to be in law enforcement, to monitor us, and all these things. And still the judge was like, nah, bro, you're going to sit here until your trial begins on May 5th, 2025. Whoa. Now, I know Diddy didn't expect that. You know, I mean, you're going to be sitting in there until his trial trial begins, man. For that to have happened, Diddy, he got to been like, yo, he got to be crying right now. He got to be crying. But they also saying that Diddy, um, he's still a feared man, even behind the wall. You know, you got a couple of people still saying, um, you know, they don't want to come out and mention anything what went on at the parties. They don't want to. They don't want no involvement, if but somehow they're involved. It, you know, it's crazy. And it's also a legend that a lot of celebrities are involved and they're already paying out alleged victims. I mean, this thing is going to get ugly. As the day goes on, you're going to see a whole lot of people that's involved in this thing. Now, my thing is this. If you're a private person, you into sexual craziness, right? Cool. At just as long as you, as you're not break, just as long as you're you're not breaking the law, or you know you you're being safe. I mean, even if you're not being safe, that's your problem. But as long as you're not breaking the law, cool. That's your business. But this whole thing is about breaking the law, not so much the the private sexual acts here. It's just the thing, that the, the bigger picture. And that's what people are losing the focus on. They say, hey, it's just consenting adults. It's just a freaky, a freaky situation, freaky parties. 
yeah, but with the laws being broken during that situation or whatever's happening. That's the problem. So, I don't know, man. He's going to be in uh he's going to be detained at the MDC <laughs> till May 5th, which sucks. Which sucks for him, but what is dope for everybody else. I mean, I don't know. They're saying he's powerful. He's still powerful. And it goes beyond hip-hop, obviously. This is not just a hip-hop. This, this, I'm going to say this. This is not a hip-hop thing. This is a person who wanted control over people, over things, who wanted to be huge. That's what this is. Has nothing to really do with hip-hop. No, it just so happened that he was just making hip-hop music. So don't say it's a hip-hop thing, because it's not. I hate when people say that. You know what I mean? So that's my two cents on it, man. Uh, go watch all the other videos. Uh, over here is the, at the diary, man. We keep it clean, but we, we, we tell y'all what is, what is going on with people in the entertainment scene. You know what I'm saying? So it's your boy Sincere on Beats. Salute. Listen, listen, listen. Go watch some inspirational videos that I have. Go watch some, listen to some playlists. We got some dope music from some dope artists that are known and some that are coming up on their way to being known. How they going to be known? By go checking them out. All right? Like this video, subscribe. It's your boy Sissy on Beats. Peace.